All right, all right, all right. So a lot of you have asked me time and time again, and I will never understand why. Well, I guess a little bit, but how do I draw a Yordle? I am going to put a disclaimer out there right away is that I've never actually looked into the specific height. Um, I've been toggling and having some fun with it. But basically... Oops, I didn't mean to turn my music down that far. Basically, 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 my Yordles are, or at least my Yordle, my Rin. I'm gonna base some of my drawing off of her and kind of how I created her and how you can create your own in your own style and tempo. Yay! All right, let's do this. How do Yordle? How do? Says Derpy Rin. I hope you like that. Derpy Yordle is go. All right. So basically, like I was saying, my Yordles are very, very different. Yo, Piraka, thank you for the follow. Um, I actually make mine a little bit more lengthy than they probably are, but that's also because of how I draw Rin. She's not normally round like the rest of them. Uh, she's meant to be a little lanky, lanky and gangly, I guess you could say. She's a noodle. Um, really think about the character that you're trying to portray, because how I see Yordles is that they're very eccentric anyway, so you want to take a specific idea about them and really emphasize that. Like, um, okay, an example. Nar is really cute, but also crazy, and you want to try to amplify that a little bit with his facial expressions like they literally are massive cartoons when I think about Yordles and how I draw them I actually go back to my animation days of like stretch and squash and like you make them stretch out really big and then you squash them back down into little little fluff balls that they are have fun with them you need to really get into the mood and have fun with these guys because that's what they are. They're they're eccentric, they're explosive, they're fun, they're crazy. They're crazy little guys that were created off of um, the original of basically loving explosions. So, alright, here we go. Yordles basically for me are kind of chibi if you want to go with that style. They got a big head, usually in a little body. Shorter kind of arms, you know. So, what I'll usually do is I'll do like the head and then box. And then for the rest of it, I'm just a noodle with them. So, arm, I'll usually make the forearm a little bit bigger. Hand, another hand. Small, little waste box because they're noodles one two one two and there you have it that's that's my basics of yordles right there that's that's my blueprint anatomy for them is literally just that uh i make their hands a little bit bigger usually sometimes i make them a little smaller though um, but this is basically what I keep in mind for my blueprint when I'm making Yordle. Is, um, slightly shorter forearms. Their necks aren't really shown often. Um, they'll usually have something else kind of around them. Armless combo! Thank you for the follow! So, like, I draw Rin with their big scarf around her neck now. Instead of the derpy little bell combo that I used to have. Their faces, you can, um... Their faces are really different. Like, Rin, I have more along the lines of a human-like face. You can go in many different ways with this. Um, your, uh, human face for Rin, um, is basically along the same lines, just a little bit pudgier in the cheeks. Um, Yordles usually have much bigger cheeks in general. Like, they, that's what I've noticed about them. So, got that that and eyes are usually pretty big um however you do your eye style is totally up to you 
so I mean that's basic eyes basic nose everything else it's all just really simplified you just have to make sure it's big and expressive Okay, sorry, I was just changing her pose up a little bit there. Same old, same old. It's really just like humans. You just make things a little bit more expressive of how you want to. Timo's got the bigger cheeks, so you put the little extra fluff on them. Um, you want to think about how ears settle on them, too. Some of them have them on the side of their head. It's just, like, Ren's is actually off the side of her head, like a human's ears. They're just really gargantuan. And when they perk up, they look like they're standing up, but real or like on the top of her head, but they're really not. They're just she's got big fucking ears. Big freaking ears, guys, let me tell you. Um, if you're trying to make your own Yordle, go I'm not gonna tell you how to make the personality, because that's gonna be up to you. I made Rin off a combination of myself, off of what I liked about Heimerdinger, off of a lot of little things. And uh, some more bit tidbits, too, that really intrigue me. Um, so, I mean, just do what feels comfortable for you. If you want to make them more fuzzy, do something different with their ears, guys. Everyone's doing the normal, like, kind of just cat ears on top of the head. Like, if you're going to do it, make it fun. Make it interesting. Make them different. But basically, I mean, they're just, they're little noodles. Look at, like, you don't have to put a lot of details into them. Rin's just a noodle. I, I, I don't know how else to put it that way, except for they are just, they're pudgier in some areas. But you have, like, you go from small to large, small to large. So, small main base of the body, big head. Small base of the arm. Uh, larger in the forearm, or whatever that. Yeah, this thing that I'm forgetting of the names, and I'm really good at teaching people, guys. The the, the things and the words, words are hard. So yeah, they're like. Noodles! Yay! She's just a squiggly little wormy. I'm doing kind of a bad job of her right now. But, I mean, hopefully you guys get kind of the idea, right? Um, every attribute of them is very expressive. So, down to their eyes, if you want to make Rin looking upset... Her ears, her body posture, everything is going to be really expressive with her, including her tail. So I have her tail and kind of was hesitant to get rid of it, but I liked it, but I didn't like it because nobody else had a tail until Nara came along and I was like, eh. You know, like, they're going to be very expressive in everything that they do. So just think of your normal human proportions, shrink it down, give it a little bit extra oomph with the style, like I said, with like the arms and stuff like that. And then make them expressive. So, let's go on to another layer. Um, example of like, Nar, let's get Nar back up here. Oops, sorry about that. But yeah, as, uh, as Sherlock Holmes just said in chat, basically they're just big heads with little bodies.
So, noodle hands. Big part there, little part there. Little part there. Big part there. Box. Another box. Nar is big monster. Nar is going to be biggest monster. Rar. Oh yeah, um, I think how Riot is doing it, I haven't decided for myself. Uh, Yordles usually have three fingers and one thumb, so four total. Um, some of them have been seen with regular hands. I don't know how you want to do that, that's kind of up to you until we get an official statement on that. Um, I think both are acceptable. Um, same with their toes. Sometimes they're seen as, like, animal kind of toes. Sometimes they're seen as, like, um, sometimes they have human kind of feet. I have ridden with human-like feet, um, but it's really just everything simplified with them. They're simplified noodles. They are fun. They're eccentric. They're happy. They're crazy. Just go crazy with them. Woo! Just add the details as you're going. Like, okay. So I got the basics of what I wanted here. So now let's just... Nar shall be big and strong. See what I mean? As I'm just kind of putting the details back in here. It's slowly becoming Nar. And that's just what he is. For me, anyway. Um, if you guys are really confused or lost on some details of Yordles as well, look up, I, I hate to put it this way, but look up um, information about, look up rodents. I hate to put it that way, but look up cats, look up rats, um, look up gerbils. I, I, you'd be surprised how much they actually keep up um, with some of those details about them. Like I was saying, with the big puffy kind of cheeks, most of the guys that are really fuzzy have really big puffy cheeks, let me tell you. Which look a lot like hamsters. What's wrong with rodents? Nothing's wrong with rodents, but I hate being called a rodent as a Yordle. Thank you very much. Um, another thing to remind you about as well, it seems more with the fuzzier type Yordles that they don't really have eyebrows, or if they do, it's kind of made sense of with their fur pattern. Um, rather than actual eyebrows or anything like that. So just kind of keep okay. that in mind a little bit if you want trying to design one for yourself. Um, some of them have muzzles as well. That's why I'm drawing Nar because he's got more of like an animalistic muzzle. Um, than being, uh, human-like. So, it, it really depends because of how many different Yordles are out there. Um, you've got some that are more animal in trait, some of them are more human in trait. Try mix and matching. If you're trying to make your own, try doing a big nose and little ears. Um, or make big ears and big eyes, um, but a human nose. Um, try making hu more human-like ears, kind of like Heimerdinger's. His is more, uh, skin-based. Like, it's not fuzzy or anything. He's got regular, just bigger ears. Um, now, in his new one anyway, before he used to have human ears. 
But now he's got bigger ears. They're just not fuzzy or anything. They're they're like a rodent. They're they're like a rat kind of ear. So. Of course, if you guys have any questions, please just tag me in the chat. Rin, Rin the Yordle, Rinny Dinger. Hello, Wayward Soul. Thank you for the follow. Who else did I just miss? Zion! Zion! Thank you as well! So, okay, sorry. I'm really just going into detail here. But hopefully you guys get the idea. Like, I have- you know how I keep saying about have those blueprints in mind? That's kind of the blueprint that I follow, um, and that, well, I guess, okay, too. Secretly, by myself, I guess I kind of think of this in my head, but they're usually about, compared to their head size, about two and a half heads. Eh, maybe three heads. Anywhere between two and a half and three heads, depending on how big they are. What does the NAR say? Shoogie, shoogie, shoogie. So, I mean, just kind of keep that in mind. Kind of like how they say the human body... Oh my god, I forgot how many heads. Because I don't actually follow it. Um, what, it's like seven and a half heads, almost eight heads. So, Yordles are about three heads in height. Um, In my mind, Yordles come up to about... Just shy of your hip on a normal five foot six, you know, five foot five human being, just about up to the hip. So I mean, they're fairly tall, and then if you add their ears, then they probably go over your hip, um, but not too too small. Konnichiwa. Yes, you may send me pictures of my yordle of your yordles to my Twitter. Um, please guys, if you have any questions about, hey, what should I do with this yordle stuff like that? Um, I, I think my biggest, my biggest qualm with the yordle community right now is that we're all going to this fuzzy cat thing that all looks the same. Like, we're all generic looking like this right now. The, this is the generic yordle right now. It's all Teemo faces is what it is. And I, I want to see more emphasis and different stuff with you guys here, okay? Like, it's okay to have that if that's how you want them to be. But do something expressive and different with them. Each yordle is very unique for one thing or another. The thing that I picked for Rin was her glider. She was an, kind of an inventor, but she's not top of the game or anything. But she had one invention that she really, really focused on. And that's how all the yordles seem to kind of be, except for Heimerdinger's. That they have one thing they really 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 focus on Tristana has her gun Poppy has her shield and hammer um Heimerdinger has his turrets still even if it's not his you know he's um known for many many different things his turrets are his big thing um Rin's known for her glider you know what I'm saying here like focus around one major thing and really emphasize that with the entirety of what they are. If they're going to be a person of flight, make sure that they're a person of flight. If they're going to have goggles, don't always put them on their head. Have them wear the goggles. Like Ziggs is uh, Ziggs and Quirky are the only two that are actually wearing their goggles. Everyone else has goggles that aren't actually Okay, no, I'm sorry. Heimerdinger does as well. But is there like goggles, not goggles? I don't know. They're a weird technology of his. So, you know, yeah, rumble in his neck. Take something big that makes them bigger. They are little guys with a lot of power behind them, and you want to start making different yordles that are going to be interesting and fun. But literally, all of our yordles right now are just like, Hi, this is my yordle. And that's, again, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad thing. I just want to see a little bit more character with some of these guys. But, I mean, we all have short hair. Nobody has any kind of hairstyles or something cool going on. It's just, I look like a cat. It's 
some of you are doing like slight different fur patterns which is good too but generic yordle right now it looks like this add more to this guys if you're gonna make it look like this if you're gonna be kind of like uh Timo do something fun with him Timo has his eyes closed and has very specific things to him about his um uh, with his blow dart gun. He's been hiding in the jungles all this time, so he's very well equipped for that. Um, Kennen also has this generic look to him if he were not completely clothed in ninja armor. Do something fun with them, guys. Come on. I know, I know, I know you can do it. Do something really cool, really exciting. Pick that and go with it. I fell in love with Rin's glider idea because I love the idea of the Festival of Flight. The minute I heard about Festival of Flight, I'm like, I gotta make something Rin makes out of that. I have to. And I did. And that's what's been like a major drive behind Rin is that she is Heimerdinger's assistant, but is completely enamored with the Festival of Flight and wants to make a glider that can beat all these guys that are making these huge airships when she wants it to be a combination of her, the flight itself, but being more like a bird and that you are in control of everything that you do. You are the actual mechanic behind the flight system rather than this big airship. She wanted to be the main power and drive behind that. That's her thing, okay? That's what I created with her and had fun with that. So, like, have fun. Please, 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 please. And then take this basic blueprint that I had. It's really simple. Again, go with another layer. Blueprint. Big circle head. Tiny mid box. Don't really need a neck. The ne I mean, make sure there's a little neck in there, but it's tiny, guys. They don't have much of a neck space, okay? Small forearm part that connects to... I mean, granted, you're gonna, when you go into more detail, like, there's the actual shoulder itself that connects in. Then you have the small uh, top part of the arm and the big um, second part of the arm that kind of pretty much just melds right into the hands. It, it just, that's that's how I kind of draw them, right? So then you got your hand box, whatever. I, I'm not doing anything in particular for like a pose here, guys. Just kind of showing you real quick. So if you want their hand up, all you do is just boop. Boop, boop. And then again, little, big. And then this bottom part literally just melds right in their foot. Um, so they're kind of hourglass-like, if you want to think of actual shapes that they end up coming in, um, becoming. That's that's all a Robo Yordle. Dude, we need more Robo Yordles. Hey, that Danish guy is hosting me. Thank you, sweetie. Hello, people from Danish guys. Um, viewers, I am literally just going over or just finished my ideas of Yordles. Do I got any questions from you guys? Do you understand my basic blueprints? Um, hopefully you can take that into your own style. Like I didn't want to go too much onto it because this is going to be your guys' creative way of taking a basis of what I do and turning it into something that you can use. So any questions, hit me up. What, what do you guys got? You guys got any questions about it? Um, do you want to see another example like of Teemo? Um, here where's Nars boomerang lol I was just drawing the yordle itself not his boomerang and everything else Mr. Boom Body thank you for the follow Gecko Con vodka or rum neither Avoiding when making a yordle any from tag any animal features you'd recommend avoiding when making a yordle I wouldn't really say avoid it as much as You really again you want to emphasize something that's very there you go like Atreon said he wants to see a fat yordle who likes food There's the attribute right there. He's gonna be completely different in size where his head's gonna be kind of smaller and it's gonna be backwards He's gonna be Kind of like this.
Why am I so good at drawing from Majestic Spammer? Um, I wouldn't call myself necessarily good as much as I've just been practicing and I'm still learning a lot to this day. Iker, thank you for the follow. And Baka Sparky, thank you for the follow. something that yeah um when it comes down to the yordles itself i just really try maybe try avoiding how the hair is always like just fuzzy maybe try doing something different with that no not even oh my gosh i'm getting a lot here double deg keldivor larius i can't say hi to everyone thank you guys for the follows i really appreciate it Um, but yeah, don't, don't really necessarily avoid anything animalistic about them. Just really try to emphasize or make them different. You know, like, do, do something fun and interesting with them because that, again, that's what they are. I'm gonna keep repeating myself, I'm sorry, I'm really repetitive on that. But, I just wanna see something different and emphasized and really make shift into this. Like, not just, oh, well, I'm a Yordle, so I'm going to be fuzzy. Okay. Why are you fuzzy? Why are you not fuzzy? Why are you more human-like? Why are you not human-like? Like, really think about every single detail that you're putting into these guys, especially if they're going to be your original characters. Like, what is it that these guys are up to? Where did they live? Where did, you know, do they live in Bandle City or do they live in Piltover? Maybe they live in Demacia. Maybe they got captured and are moving, you know, living in Noxus now where Yordles are absolutely hated. But, you know, they're totally evil now or something like do something fun if they're gonna be from noxus they're probably gonna have really matted fur and grossness to them and gonna be completely psychotic and probably drugged up really bad you know like they're gonna be messed up going to be a Demacian Yorta, you're probably going to be more armored and maybe not even show their face. Maybe it's going to be a complete full helmet that you don't really see their face much at all. Now I'm all excited making this fat yordle. Oh yeah, and they probably have some kind of trinket on them. I think they're kind of junk mongers without thinking about it, kind of. Like, they, they like being excessive in what they have. Think floppy ears will look good on a Yordle? You know what? Let's make him floppy ears. Yeah, I think so. Oh, we can make, uh, kind of like the... What's that cat? That has the... Oh, I like that. Look at that. I like that. That looks better. Uh, I only know one Yordle that has ears like this. That's an original character. Um... Clovis. 
I love Clovis's face. He's very different. Die. Put him in a watermelon helmet? Yes! There you go! Shoogie, shoogie, shoogie. See, now I want to finish this guy. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday, where Rin shuts up and just draws something for fun anyway. Yeah, we always have Yordles who keep getting smaller and smaller. We need a massive Yordle. Like, this guy needs to be just crazy. Dark Moon Blade, thank you for the follow. Grodo, his name is Grodo. Grodo the Yordle. I love this guy. Oh, the drumstick? No, I'm sorry, I didn't read it. Sorry. No, I don't want a drumstick on him. I want him a little bit more serious than that. Part. I wanted to make him really bad. He was kind of cool. I like this guy. So yeah, guys, have fun with the basic blueprints. Like I said, he's a little bit different. You want to um, emphasize shapes more than anything. Um, really emphasize on shapes. If she's, they're going to be skinny and noodly, then make sure that their arms and feet are kind of big and they can run around or whatever they're going to do. Or if it's going to be big like this guy, make sure he's got the big part of him and his hands are still big. His head's still pretty big, but his body's still massive over top of it. Emphasize shapes, be cartoony, have fun, be explosive. Just do something different. Have 
a good time with these guys because they can be just about anything you want them to be. Um, I also want to know Rin's opinion on do on doing what with your own OC? Now, Bacchus Sparky. PF Phoenix, thank you for the follow. People creating yordles with relationship connections to existing canon characters. Um, I think having a relationship with them, as in like you're friends with them, maybe, or maybe not even friends. You could be acquainted, but I think that should really be dependent on, uh, well, a if you're gonna be role playing with someone. Um, make sure that they're okay with it. Don't just automatically push that onto someone. And also don't automatically push it into somebody's story. Like, find out how your character would actually react with these guys. Because the minute you go like, Oh my god! Like, I'm totally Teemo's cousin! We're long lost cousins from- Please don't do that. No. Please, I'm begging, please don't do that. Um. You guys gotta be- original in yourself you know what i'm saying like if timo has a cousin yeah sure but we don't know who that is it's not canon it's not anywhere else like you can be really cool without being timo's cousin what's the point of that personally that's how i feel again if you do that please don't be mad at me for what i'm saying here this is just my personal opinion on that um if you have an agreement with someone that you're role-playing with, then sure. But otherwise, keep an open book to it. But yeah, don't- please don't marry Sue, Gary Stu, your characters. Um, immediately saying that you're cousins to someone and blah 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 blah. Not cool. The reason that I made Rin as Heimerdinger's assistant was actually because I said she was going to the Yordle Academy of Science and many people eventually accepted her as Heimerdinger's assistant. She said she wanted to work for him in the beginning and a lot of people started accepting that and I still don't think it's like hey oh my god like I'm actually related to Heimerdinger and I'm super amazing and Rin's super smart and she can make anything just like Heimerdinger and she learned everything from Heimerdinger it's not like that she went to school her professor was Heimerdinger for a couple things and now she gets to work at the acad um, at the academy and at Piltover Customs but Heimer probably has a bunch of other assistants, assistants as well, along with other people who work with him. Magique! Thank you for the follow. Um, so, like, don't, don't pigeonhole yourself into something that could be rejected pretty heavily. Um, you guys really want to make sure that you just, just please don't marry Sue it. Just, that's all I'm asking. Please don't marry Sue it. The minute you say, I'm so-and-so's cousin, or I'm their best friend forever, I, it doesn't work like that. Oh, he's gotta have the chin strap. Here we go. I love this guy! Oh my god, my Tutorial Tuesday has been completely wrecked. I'm not tutorialing anymore. I'm making Grotto the Yordle. Yeah, they're not plates. I don't know. I was just making some kind of like... He's kind of sumo-y. I don't know. I was just having fun with decorations. I am Grotto. <laughs> Grodor, Grodor, Grodor.
but there you go guys have fun enjoy yordles are fun yordles are fun that was a terrible tutorial. I'm sorry that was so bad. But I just... I don't know how to explain it any other way, guys. I really don't. Since there is no canon of what could or could not be with Yordles, um, look up different animal traits, mix them in with human traits, make cute little short characters, make big little characters, um, have shapes... You know, try doing one base like that. Oh, actually, that's kind of how Gerdo is right now. He is, literally. That's his shape. He's pear-shaped. You know, do... Uh... Do hourglass yordles. Try different shapes out. Try putting some crazy freaking shapes out there and see if you can fit a yordle inside of those shapes. So, anyway, yes, but don't make a chimera. <laughs> oh, light. Oh, light. Anyway, guys, that's the end of Yordle tutorial. If you have any questions, please, please, please message me. You can get a hold of me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash RinTheYordle. You can get a hold of me on Tumblr in two different places, at Reedy Dinger or at Rin's Art Place. I answer to both. Rin's Art Place is more my art one. Rinny Dinger is my main uh, League of Legends blog. Um, Facebook, Rinny Dinger as well. Um, you can get a hold of me on YouTube at Rini Elenika, R-I-N-I-E-L-E-N-I-K-A. -E -E you can check out the stuff there. Anything that I'm doing for Tutorial Tuesday will be posted there once I am done with it, which this will be as soon as I get the chance to upload it. Woo! Yordles! Oh, and if you guys could, check out Patreon. Patreon.com slash R-I-N. That would be really appreciated. These um, Tutorial Tuesdays are only possible because the kind people at Patreon have been donating to the cause of me being able to do more with you guys. Thank you! I can't thank, thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, don't go away. For those of you who are here on Twitch with me right now, um, I'm going to shut down really quick and be right back again. That's just to cut this video so that I can post it to the YouTube. YouTube people, if you want to watch me online when I'm doing this, Tutorial Tuesday, every Tuesday around noon Mountain Standard Time. That means I do not have daylights, okay? No daylight savings here. So um, make sure you keep that in mind, and I should be here every Tuesday if you want to come check that out. It's twitch.tv slash RinTheYordle. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. And for those of you on Twitch, we'll be back in just a moment. Thanks, guys. Woo!